In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for H3PO4 plus MgOH2. So the first thing I notice when I look at this equation here is I have water over here, and then I have a metal and a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. It's also called salt. So when we have a salt and water, we're thinking that this is probably going to be a neutralization reaction. On the reactant side, we said this is phosphoric acid. It's a really good one to memorize. So we have an acid. And then we have this metal bonded to an OH. So we have a metal, and this is a hydroxide, so magnesium hydroxide. Metal and a hydroxide, that's going to be a base. Acid plus base gives us salt and water. That's the pattern for a neutralization reaction. It's helpful to look at this little table here of common acids and bases. This is really good to memorize. As you go on in chemistry, it'll save you a lot of time and trouble. So we have our acid and base gives us a salt and water, neutralization. We can also look at a table of common types of chemical reactions. If we look down the table, we know we have a neutralization reaction, but this is also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because of the magnesium and the hydrogen, they switch places. So because of that, you have the hydrogen goes with the OH, that gives you HOH, H2O, and then you have the magnesium going with the phosphate. So you get this magnesium phosphate. It makes a little more sense if we balance this reaction though. So we have coefficients of two, three, one, and six. There's a card in this video that'll show you how to balance this if you need some help with that. But these are the types of reactions for H3PO4 plus MgOH2. We could call it a double replacement, and we could also call it a neutralization reaction. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.